So hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so if you've watched any of my recent videos you'd have heard me going on and on and on about the Hourglass products that I picked up in um, the January sales um, and they also featured in my January favourites items. Um, so I wanted to make a video about how I use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette which is this rather lovely delicious palette right here. Um, it's got several different shades of the ambient um, lighting palette in there. Um, it has the dim light, incandescent light and radiant light. Um, it retails for around, I think around £50 or 50 something pounds. Um, I was really lucky I managed to pick it up in the sale and actually got it for around 42 so I really struck gold there. Um, and I said in all my other videos, I was really late to the hourglass party, I didn't realise how good these powders were, the ambient lighting powders were. I have had an ambient lighting bronzer for a really long time and love it, absolutely love it, always recommend it to people. Um, but I just hadn't thought about using the other products. Um, so in this video, I just wanted to show you how I use this palette because I've seen a lot of girls using, oh, hey guys, um, using these palettes and we're all such an amazing different array of skin tones from really, really fair to really dark. Um, and that's the wonderful versatile thing about this product is you really can use it whatever your skin tone. Um, you just may have to use it in a slightly different way or in different areas of your face or mix some of the colours together. Um, so it's it's a lovely versatile palette, um, a little pricey, but I think you get your money's worth because you get the different um, shades to use in there. And as I said, I've had now a glass um, bronzer for quite a while and there is no sign of that wearing out so um, I think you know again you do get your money's worth with these products slightly higher end and slightly pricier but you do get your money's worth they are so beautifully and finely milled they don't sit on your skin and um, I, I get I, I've never been diagnosed but I think I have rosacea because I get very red and I get very bumpy skin and it's really affected by heat and changes of, of temperature and things like that so I think I have rosacea so I'm I find it really hard to wear a lot of powders because it accentuates the um the texture on my skin um whereas this is so fine it sits or it absorbs into the skin they call they call it diffused don't they diffused light and it's a really good way of explaining it it's very has almost like a blurring effect so it really is a great powder to use um, particularly if you have got some skincare concerns like that so um I've, I've done my makeup obviously <laughs> um, and I just want to talk to you about how I use these products um, so I'm going to go through also the other hourglass products that I do have um, just because obviously I use them in combination so I just want you to see how they all sit together. Um, so the first thing um, I use actually is an hourglass primer. Um, I have the Mineral Veil Primer. Um, it's meant to be really really good for um, redness um, so that's one of the things that attracted me to it. Um, I was in Space NK and I was trying to buy a new foundation actually and they put it on me and I loved it so um, I bought it. I only bought the small size there it is on my makeup table. So I've got the small size. Now I bought that in September 2015 and it's only just run out. Um, I'm just sort of having to like, you know, take it apart and really <laughs> scrape the scrape the barrel, so to speak. Mm. So that has lasted me 16 months. Now it's got an 18 month from opening date on it. So um, that's around 20 something pounds. Um, I don't wear it every single day, but I probably wear it five out of seven days a week to be fair. Um, and it is a really, really nice primer. So I start with that on my skin. Um, and then obviously put on my foundation um, or you know do my eyes or whatever whichever way around I'm doing it um, and then I will conceal sorry guys you're gonna have to bear with me my concealer routine is really long <laughs> even though I've speeded it up a little bit for you here but I just use a couple of products the Becca um, underlie, under eye corrector and then my favourite Maybelline um, the eraser and then I just go over with some Touche Eclat just to brighten up the whole area in sort of a semi inverted triangle there um, and then I use the um, 
ambient lighting, no, I've just got to make sure I say this all right. Uh, I use the ambient lighting powder um, in diffused light under my eyes. So that is this rather lovely one here. Now this is almost like a yellowy um, toned uh, powder. Um, it's not as yellow, if you use things like Ben Nye or something like that, it's not as yellow as that. So it is, it is much brighter. You probably want to swatch this if you are a, a much darker stick skin tone to me um, because it might be a little bit too bright under your eyes. Um, it depends how light you want it to be. Um, so I set my um, under eye concealer with this powder. I just apply the concealer first of all. Um, I've got a couple of layers of concealer as you can see. Um, and then after that I do my contour um, and I set my contour with the actual ambient lighting palette. Um, so I set it with the slightly bronzer uh, toned powder which is the radiant light I believe. Um, I just find that that warms up my skin enough um, and it just sets the the contour without um, lightening it or anything like that or disturbing the colour too much. Um, it's not particularly um, shiny or shimmery or anything like that but it's not completely matte either so it's a bit more of a natural diffused looking um, powder which is what I really really like. Um, after I've done all of my contouring, I then set the rest of my foundation using the dim light. So that is the slightly um, lighter powder here. Now, again, you're probably going to want to try these out and make sure that these do actually suit your skin tone. But don't be put off by it being a little bit too dark or a little bit too light. I have to say, I think I probably have looked at these palettes in the past but I was a bit put off by the colours because I actually felt they'd be a bit too light for me but I'm really really pleasantly surprised this colour here is such a nice setting powder colour for my skin tone um, it's just a really um, sort of soft fleshy coloured uh, powder now I've again I've seen this used on so many different skin tones and it just seems to it's almost like one of those lipsticks that you put on that adjusts to your skin tone I don't think there's any technology in it that's designed to make it do that but somehow it just works and I think that dim light is actually their um, most popular um, powder that they they sell um, because it is just so versatile and everybody really loves it so I set my my areas um, here and here um, and here on my chin. I also set my forehead and then just a little bit around my nose. Um, and then after I've set all of my makeup, um, I just do a little bit of highlighting and I'm using the incandescent light, which is this one here. Again, I think this is a really popular um, colour, although it is exclusive to this palette. They don't actually sell this one separately. It was, it was made um, for this palette. So if you want to use that one, you would have to buy the palette, unfortunately. Um, again, I find that highlighters can sometimes Sometimes exacerbate the texture issues I have with my skin so this is a really nice highlighter um, that doesn't do that it just sits into the skin um, it blurs the imperfections it's just really really beautiful diffused powder I love it um, and then um, that's uh, how I use the, the palette um, I then use the blusher which I also got in the sale lucky me um, and the one I'm using in this video is the ethereal glow which is this really pretty pink sort of marbled effect um, blusher now I said in my haul video when I was talking about this that I probably wouldn't have bought this I would have felt that that color was just much 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 too light for me um, if you can see it there it is really quite light when I swatch it on my fingers but as you'll see when I put it on it does give me some pay pay off with colour um, and again I think because it has the okay. the powders marbled into it it just seems to blur um, the problems that I, I personally have with my skin. Um, again with the redness I don't often feel that I can wear blusher so having something a little lighter um, like this the, the ethereal glow from Hourglass it just seems to it just seems to work for my skin. Um, so if you have that similar sort of problem, you might want to try something like that um, and look for something that we would normally feel was probably a little bit too light for you. 
So once I've done my um, blusher, that's pretty much my, my makeup finished and set there. Um, and then I just use a little of the powder, um, the powder bronzer, which is again from the Ambient Lighting range. Um, and my one that I'm using is the slightly darker one. This is the Radiant Bronze. Um, now it is, I actually feel this is probably a little bit too dark for me this time of year. They do have another one um, and I'm actually going to invest in that just because I'm so sold on these products. I just really find them so beautiful and lovely to use. Um, I'm more than happy to have, you know, one that I can only use six months of the year and the other one six months of the year. I, I just think it's worth the investment. Um, so, you know, perhaps go and have a look and, and a little play with the colours and see what you think. Or if you're a similar skin tone to me, then um, you can be quite confident that these are going to work for you. There are loads of YouTubers um, that have done videos on the ambient lighting palette. Just, if you put in the search ambient, hourglass ambient lighting palette, you'll be able to pick up on all those videos and you can probably see then how the colours translate on somebody to a similar skin tone to you but as I said I think it's really really versatile I really don't think it matters you know how fair you are or how dark you are or where you are in between it just seems to work on everyone's skin I think it's probably because of all the light reflecting properties in it and how finely milled it is it just really becomes one with the skin so to speak and just helps you to, to really look you know blurred and more um I don't know just more glowy and more dewy even though it's all powders so really fab product I absolutely love it would a hundred percent recommend um trying them yes they are a bit pricey but I think you can tell in the quality um and the finish of the products um, so I hope that's been helpful in some way. If you've been on the fence about Hourglass products, I hope that it's either helped you to make up your mind or decide that it isn't for you. If you've got any questions about the products or if you'd like to see any more um, of the products in use in a particular way, then do leave me a comment below. Um, I always read my comments, you know, and I'll try to respond to questions as best as I can. If you did like the video, if it's been helpful, um, then please do give me a thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos, um, then I do try to do them a little bit more regularly now. Um, and if you want to know when they're going to be released, then you have to hit the bell so that you'll get some sort of notification that I'm releasing a video. So thanks so much for being here. Sorry it's a little bit long this one, um, but hopefully it's been helpful. Um, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in my next video.